Hi everyone, so first up, I don't normally do tutorials, so apologies in advance if this is terrible. Um, today we are going to uh, quickly run through the logic of um, a persistent torch between scenes. Uh, so we've got a couple of scenes set up here, and a dream itself. Um, so, head over into scene one. <coughs> First thing you're going to want is a torch, obviously. Um, I just got this from the Dreamiverse. Uh, you can make one or um, get, do the same. Um, grab the torch and I've put, I've scoped in the puppet and added it to the to the hand. Um, so first thing we need to do, uh, we're going to go back in there actually and just scope back in. And we're going to add ourselves a microchip. And we're just going to shove that on there. And open that up. And we'll get that there. So, uh, first things first. We need a variable. And we're going to name that variable, um, in this case, torch. And we're going to make sure that we have this set to persist in dreams. Um, important setting that, otherwise it will not work. So um, that's that. Uh, secondly, um, we need a controller sensor, and we don't need those. What we're really doing here is we, every time we press a button, um, we want to turn the torch on and off, um, so to do that we get ourselves a selector and um, we wire up a button of your choosing, I'm going to choose triangle, to the move to next output. Um, we only also only want this selector to work when we press the button. Um, doesn't want to be on all the time, so we're just going to wire that up to the power as well. Once we have that, what we need to do is um, set the torch variable um, with a variable modifier. Um, you can name these, you probably should, but uh, for now we'll just leave it as it is. Um, we'll pick the variable name. Make sure we set to set, and for this one, we're going to set that to zero. Um, and we're going to wire that up to the A output, um, into the power, not into the operational value, because that will set the value we want to just power it. Um, so we'll copy that, and we'll wire that one up to B, and the this time want to set it to uh, 1. So, run through the basics of that. Whenever we press triangle, we move to the next input, which will take us to B in this case, um, which will then change the torch variable to 1. Press triangle again, it'll switch back to A, and we'll set it back to 0. So, that is basics of that. Um, finally what we want to do is um, get this variable. I, I mean you could just wire this directly but um, just in case I'm going to do it this way. Um, this time we are going to get the torch variable and we need to set it to get. And that just gets whatever the value that is once it's been set by those. Um, and we're going to get that, and we're going to wire this up to the torch power. And I'm not actually scoped in, so I need to scope back in there. And we're going to wire that to the light. Um, so, whenever this is 1, the light turns on. Whenever it's 0, the light turns off. Um, one very quick thing I just need to do is change this to be remote controllable um, otherwise the puppet won't move 
So, close that, and we scope all the way back out, and we will test it. So, if we hit triangle, we turn on, off, on, off, on, off. So, that's working, and, and, and that is the, the total logic. Um, when I've died. Um, so, now that I've done that, what you're going to want to do is, is get this guy, and you're going to want to save him as a new creation. Um, because you're going to need him for scene two. Um, obviously, if you're building uh, your character in, in its own uh, element scene, um, then you won't need to do that. Um, so, save that. And we'll go into uh, our second scene. Um, so I've set this guy up already, so he's here, um, but you could uh, pull him in, uh, torch guy, which is why I named him there, and add him in again if you wanted, but well, we don't need to do that. So, scene 2 set up is exactly the same, so this guy in here, and this is the important bit, is that all of the logic is still there. Um, this variable needs to be in every scene that you want to use, um, otherwise um, it won't work. So, don't need to save that. We'll then go to our dream, which is just um, a setup of a dream. Uh, I'm just going to update that with my scene 1 changes and save it. And then when we uh, go in, um, and we want to play this, uh, so we've got a torch which is working, um, and this door takes me to scene 2. So first of all we'll go in with the torch off, and the torch is still off. Um, this door takes me back to scene 1, so just go round and round. Um, and this time now we want to turn the torch on, and when we go through this door, the torch needs to stay on um, because it's persistent, that's the whole point. So, just take him in there, and as you can see, his torch still works. And off and on, everything is still um, working. So, that's it. Um, it's really as simple as that. I hope that helps. Thank you.